Hey coaches, Coach Matthews, kmatthewsfootball.com. Today we're going to look at how to defend the triple option, specifically uh, the inside veer from the 3-3 stack defense. We're going to start by looking at it against uh, split back veer formation, and then we're going to look at how they're going to block it, how we're going to defend it, and then we'll take that and look at how we defend the flex bone. Because really the flex bone, they throw the motion in, and then you're looking at the same kind of problems that you face from a split back veer formation. So to get started, dive back. Quarterback's reading, pitch relationship here. This guy's, this tight end is going to arc release and he's going to block somebody. He may block this guy, he may be sealing guys in the box, or he may release on a pass if they're going to run some kind of play action. But that's basically the look that you're going to get. He's veer releasing inside, he's climbing, he's trying to scoop the center, uh, reach the center. And then we've got cutoff blocks on the backside. That's basically what you're going to get from uh, a triple option flex bone team running the inside veer. So, with that in mind, I'm going to erase those real quick, and we're going to take a look at what we're going to do movement-wise up front and how we're going to defend those gaps. Uh, the first thing, just get it out there right now, with the 3-3 stack defense, the way that we've got it lined up in you know, a head-up alignment, we are not um, block down, step down, having the ends come in and crash and take the quarterback. Basically, whoever we put in the C gap is going to be responsible for the quarterback. The people we have in the A and the B gaps are responsible for the dive back. And then our strong safety and our weak safety, depending on which way the play goes, are going to be responsible for the pitch. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to, first thing we're going to do is either run a pinch call or we're going to slant to the tight end. So in this case, we'll show slant to the tight end because against flex bone, we're definitely going to pinch. So I'll show it this way first. End is responsible for C gap. Nose is responsible for strong side A gap. The backside end is responsible for the backside B gap. It's important that the nose defeats the reach block of the center and gets to his gap responsibility. And since he's in the A gap, he's responsible for the dive back. The backside linebacker, when he sees action going that way, is going to be responsible for the backside A gap. Once action clears there, he can begin to pursue the football. Mike linebacker is responsible for the dive back in the B gap. So he may have to rip underneath this block to make sure he's securing his gap. But that's ultimately his responsibility there. This tight end, in this case, we'll say the tight end arc releases and he's going to block the strong safety. Strong safety has to maintain outside leverage on this, keep his outside arm free, and he's ultimately responsible for the pitch. The free safety is going to be responsible for checking this guy to make sure he's not releasing vertically on a play action pass. If he does, he's a free safety's responsibility. If he doesn't, the free safety can run the alley. All right? So these guys are on the dive, he's on the quarterback. And the Sam is free to run the alley and pursue inside out, quarterback to pitch. So we've got that play well, pretty well defended. We don't need to have another lineman on the back side. And this is one of the biggest things, things I like about the 3-3 stack is you can slant to the strength and leave. You don't have a lineman in the C gap and your overhang safety sitting out there as well. He can secure this gap. Hurts you a little bit perhaps in uh, pass rush, but when we're, we're playing against a triple option team, we're not really concerned about the pass. All right, so that's basically how we're going to defend inside veer against a uh, flex, excuse me, against the split back veer team. So what we're going to look at next, we'll erase it, we'll draw it up against the flex bone, and I'll show you how we're going to defend that. And the reason I say that I start with the split back veer and then go to the flex bone is because it presents you a different formation to begin with. But once they, if they're going to run inside veer, they're going to motion one of these guys into the backfield. And as soon as they do that, we've essentially created a two back. We can consider him a tight end. We still have a three man surface on this side to defend, two man on this side, and two backs in the backfield to run their, their inside veer play. So really it's no different. They're just aligned in slightly different positions. The problem is, is that we don't know which side is going to have the three-man surface until the play starts. And so we have to change up our movement a little bit as a defense on what we want to do there. Um, so here let me draw the defense up again. <clears throat> Since we don't know which way they're going to 
bring the motion of which way they're going to run the play, where the three-man surface is going to be. We don't want to slant strong, like left or right. What we want to do is we want to pinch with our linemen. So our defensive ends are going to pinch, and they're going to be, they're going to be in the B-gap, which makes them responsible for the dive. Our end, or excuse me, our nose is responsible for defeating the block of the center. So if the center wants to reach to the left, that means the play is going to the left, so the defender's right, he has to defeat him and get in that play side A gap. If the play is going to the offense's right, the defensive left, the nose guard has to defeat that reach block and get in the play side A gap. And so in this example, we'll do this. We'll send the play to the defensive right, offensive left. <clears throat> so he goes in motion and he's the pitch back on this play. The center is going to be trying to reach our nose guard, and our nose guard has to defeat that block and get in the play side A gap. Since he's in the A gap, he's responsible for dive as well. The backside stack backer is going to be screaming down into the A gap based on the uh, key that he gets from the fullback, diving strong. <clears throat> and so if he's A gap, he's responsible for the dive as well, in this case looking for cutback. We've now got the strong safety responsible for the backside C gap. So every gap on the backside is filled. All the gaps on the front side are, are filled. We've got to figure out how we're going to fill the C gap and the D gap, and we've got three defenders to do it. So first and foremost, our weak safety is going to be responsible for the pitch. In this case, we'll say the, uh, the play side slot back also releases out to block him. He maintains outside leverage, and he, he's still there to defend the pitch and force the ball back inside. <clears throat> Our will linebacker is going to scrape to C-gap to defend the quarterback. He's in the C-gap, so he's got the quarterback, and the quarterback should keep the ball, right? And he should if he's getting all this penetration into the, <clears throat> into the A and B gaps. And then I mean, drew this a little incorrectly. We're going to back our Mike linebacker up a little bit here because we want him in position. He's basically going to be running the alley to either side of the ball. He has no gap to fill A, B, C, so he's running the alley. Looking... Dives taken away, quarterback to pitch, running the alley there. And then we still have our free safety to run the alley as well, which is one thing, again, that I really like about the 3-3 stack. Based on our slants, we're not putting a defensive lineman and an overhang safety on the same side away from the ball. So that's how we're going to defend the, the, uh, the triple option, whether it's from split back veer or flex bone. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please come check out kmatthewsfootball.com to get some more videos and other articles that we've written. Thank you.